Hey! Oh god! Oh. Your last year of being your twenties. Woo! <laughs> Boy. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another vlog. Uh, we are still in January, twenty seventh of Jan, ten a.m. I've put up for a while. I've had my breakfast. I've kind of got ready for the day, except for this. I haven't styled this yet. It's very much sort of bed heady and I'm yeah I've got to say though it feels weird doing these vlogs just like at weekends and just doing it once trying to get one vlog out a week I actually don't like it anymore I miss doing the more frequent vlogs and it's something that I feel like I've sort of had December was vlogs pretty much every day up until the 25th um January I wanted to be more of a, okay, right, let's get everything set up for the year. Let's focus on making sure what my goals are, what my plans are. I've had a lot of meetings of with lots of different people discussing what I want to aim and achieve this year. The vlogs have sort of been on slightly a bit of the back burner, which every day goes by. I'm like, oh, I, just, I, can't, I, I miss vlogging. I never thought I'd say it, but I do. I didn't think I'd miss it this much. But here we are. I do. I miss it. This is another weekend vlog, so you'll be getting this probably at some point next week. Diane's still on tour. She's currently in Glasgow, I think. So I'm here on my own, but not for long, because at some point today, I have uh, two guests arriving to stay over for the weekend. It is now time to start the day, and I'm starting the day how I mean for it to go on in the gym. Now I may not look it, but I have been sticking to the gym since uh, getting back from Australia. I've been doing my ab exercises every day with the occasional rest day. And I've even been using this big piece of kit here. I've been using that a lot. Today is the first day in a while that my body isn't feeling like crap and aching, um, which I don't like. I miss the feeling of, I miss vlogging and I miss the feeling of my body aching. What's happened to me in 2024? But today I'm going to do back and biceps. Also, these weights are great and I love them, but one th for some reason, when they were delivered, they've got like a kind of like a oil, oil on them, like an oiliness around here. So if I lift off a weight, it leaves like little marks. I literally went and got this towel here to wipe down. This towel was once a lovely yellow color. It's now covered in black crap from me just wiping the weights because it's like a, it's like leaving like a, a weight juice on the, on the uh, thing. I've wiped it a lot, so it's kind of gone. But before, it's leaving like proper like residue, and look, it's leaving like marks when I put it down on like mats or um, on this stepping box here. It's left like marks. I mean, it's a gym. It's gonna get messy and you know, I don't want a gym if I'm scared to like chuck things around and knock things, you know what I mean? This is what a gym is for. Like before I was very precious about this. I didn't wanna get any marks from the bar on this look, but I've realized actually, if I'm gonna use it, I've gotta use it. And it means I've got to, you know, it's gotta get a bit roughed up. Paint's gotta chip off. Otherwise it just looks like I've not properly used it. Also, I'm still looking for these um, acoustic panels to put on this wall because it's still very echoing here. And also, there is the speakers in the ceiling, so you can play music whilst working out. But because the room's so echoey, it doesn't sound as good as it could. So I think if I get acoustic panels along this wall here, it will help get rid of some of this echo. I've found the ones I think I like. I've then discovered that you can get ones that you can actually then run lights through it as well, like strip lights, which I think would look really cool. Um, but also the big problem is, I'm pretty sure that behind this wall is um, like a membrane, like a, uh, like a waterproof membrane behind this stud wall. So I can't screw anything in to this wall. Even this massive bit of kit here is meant to be screwed into the wall, but unfortunately, because of where the mirror lines up on this plate. Like you can drill stuff into this if the screw is no longer than that. Um, but this thing here is meant to be secured down. But in the end, I said, look, don't worry about securing it down. They'd even have to drill it down through this mat, but there's underfloor heating. It's never turned on, but the pipes are there, underfloor heating underneath this mat. So we couldn't drill it down there. We have the bits that do attach it to this wooden panel, but because of the, the size of it, and how big the mirror is, 
it wouldn't, it would end up going into the mirror. So we couldn't screw it into there. But what we did decide is that essentially you've got 120 kilograms on this side, 120 kilograms the other side. So that's 240 kg there. You've also got all these bumper weights on here, which add up to, I don't know what. There is so much weight on this side that no matter how much weight I put on this bar, bear in mind it's me, do you know what I mean? It's, <laughs> it is me, I'm not the biggest person, so you can't ever imagine that much weight going on it, but it will never topple this way, or that way, or that way, because there's just so much weight on there. Um, you could even get, you could get someone who is like, I don't know, 15 stone, and they've got to do pull-ups on that very easily, and it still would not move. But going back to this, the panels that I want to get, I've got to make sure that I can almost like ad ad adhesive, put some adhesive on to stick them to the wall, as opposed to drilling, to screw them on. I'd, I'd like to, I prefer to screw because putting glue on stuff and sticking it to a wall is a nightmare. Because if you ever pull it off again, um, it will just completely mess up this wall. I need to get one that is, I mean, it's quite a long wall. It's a very long wall. So I need to get some really long panels cut out. So around here, give it a space, this door can still open and then cut around here and just have this whole wall or a big chunk of this wall anyway. Maybe not all the wall, maybe a big chunk opposite this. Nice wooden acoustic slat paneling. But when that will get done, I have no idea. First off, we're gonna do some pull-ups. Let's pull down. It's <laughs> Then, oh, I finish with some abs. I've been using the same app for years, on and off, admittedly, on and off. Um, never as consistent as I'd like to. The app's just called Six Pack. Literally, on my phone, it just says Six Pack, and that is it. But it gives you like a, a different ab three minute. Is it three minutes? No, it's going to be longer than that. Five minutes five minute like ab workout with a 45 minute rest in between. It's a blessing and a curse, right? Having this body because I start to see results super quick. So I've got like not much body fat at all. So I instantly notice a difference and I, I can put on, I can make my muscles more defined a lot quicker. But thing is when that happens, I then go, oh, well, I'm happy with that. And I stop. So I need to keep going. That's my issue. I need to start and keep going. It is day, what they, we're on day six, I think, of doing the ab stuff. So, abs to go, then we're done. Gym done. Into the drawer of bits and bobs and goodies. Phew, just in case, you never know. It's that time of the morning where we see whether Joe can swallow a red krill oil tablet. This is the sort of size that I hate. It's not tiny, but it's also not massive. And it's like 50-50 whether I can actually swallow these or not. I'm actually considering getting some like hypnotherapy or something because when I look at like the amount of food I can swallow in one gulp it's a lot bigger than this but for some reason mentally I find it so difficult to swallow tablets it's mental because I, I can swallow tablets normally like I can swallow stuff bigger than a tablet so why do I struggle especially when it's not like hard it's like a gel capsule why do I struggle so much swallowing tablets I don't get it but it's the bane of my life but today is the day I do it in one. <sighs> done it. I've done it, but I felt it go the whole, I can feel it go the whole way down. That is so weird. Food, I don't feel it go down. But for some reason, those tablets, I can feel it like hit every like rung of my gullet as it goes down. Ugh. Anyway, and because I've been a good boy, I'm going to treat myself with a vitamin C. Ooh. Right, now it's time to wash this barnet. Or is that a dry shampoo? No, I'm going to wash it. Um, and then I've got some bits to do. Now, I am in the process at the moment of clearing out and sorting out my garage because I've got a lot of stuff in there and a lot of the stuff in there doesn't need to be in there. But also a lot of the stuff in there is just sort of stacked in a corner and taking up loads of room when I, I need to get some shelves. Now, I went to B&Q yesterday and I bought some shelving units and no one ever lie, I started putting up yesterday, right? And... In the, I, I, I got so angry trying to put these things together that I just chucked it on the floor. And it, I'm a very, very patient person, but I, got, I lost my patience with this, this shelving unit from B&Q. So I chucked my tools down and I thought, sod this. I used a lot stronger word yesterday. Sod this. 
I will do it tomorrow instead. I'm not, I'm not wasting my time with this. Um, so I'm going to attempt round two today to try and put this thing together. Um, I've got to do a dump run as well. Not a dump. Well, yeah, I've got to do a dump, but also got to take stuff to the dump um, to get rid of some, um, some old bits and bobs. Right, I don't quite know how this has happened, but time is now up against me. I've loaded everything up to go to the dump. But I've got this horrible feeling. Somewhere in my brain over the last couple of months, I saw a sign or an advert or something somewhere saying that the dump is closed for the whole of January. And I'm a little bit scared to Google it because you know you just, you just don't want to know the reality of a situation. I think I have to take all this back out again. Who the bloody hell has got pink, whatever the hell that is, on my seatbelt? It could be one person and one person only. <sighs> Googled it. We're good. 4 p.m. it closes and it is open. I'm sure I saw somewhere though that it said it was closed the whole January. Must have dreamt it. Anyway, to the dump. <sighs> I've been sidetracked. By B and Q. Ignore the buckets, Joe. Ignore the buckets. Ignore the buckets. Ignore the buckets. Resisted. Have that, Tom. I will not be influenced by you and the orange bucket brigade. And I raise you two pounds for a pair of gloves. And I used to wear these exact gloves every day uh, on the roof when I was thatching. It's the exact same colorway as well. Yellow with the orange when I first started. I actually had loads of pairs in the house we moved, but for some reason, I just checked before leaving for the dump and they've all gone. I normally I always have a pair in this car somewhere. I've checked high and low, checked the whole house. Can't find them anywhere, so I've had to pick up some more gloves. Um, but i tell you what, two pound for a pair of gloves, that's a, pa that's a pound per glove. Tom, you're getting two for the price of two. Hang on a minute. I've made it to the dump. You know, I thought that it was going to be closed the whole of January. I was wrong. What it actually was, was that from February, you have to book to come here. You can't just rock up with your stuff. You've got to book to actually come and use this place. But I'm aware of that. Remind me in the future, February onwards, Joe, if you go to the dump, make sure you book. But the car is now empty. But I have run out of orange mini eggs. But just smelling where they once were oh, is almost good enough for me. Empty mini eggs packets and empty Tic Tac Tic Tacs, Tic Tac boxes have such a nice smell to them. Garage situation. This is the section from my old sofa in London. This is the bit that wasn't needed at first. And there's a corner bit that I had to get rid of. But this bit here, I'm gonna take back inside and put it in my office. because I think this could be reused. I'm gonna get a rug doctor or something and completely clean it up. Um, hopefully get my special guest to help me carry this inside. Um, and also what I need carrying inside is this. This is me and Diane's old dining room table. We were gonna sell it, but change of plan. We're gonna treat it. I mean, the wood's already treated, but we're gonna treat it again so it's sort of more waterproof. And that is gonna go outside as an outside table in the patio area. And then this TV I thought was broken. And to be, fa to be fair, it was pretty much broken. It had like a little, um, like a, gray, a slightly gray area here on the TV. So I didn't quite know what to do with it. I didn't want it inside the house, but I thought as like a, I mean, it's the most random thing in the world. I plugged it in over there to test it and it works. And actually I couldn't really notice the little gray patch, although too small for the house, but I've had a thought, what about putting this TV mounted here? or somewhere on this back wall. I'm gonna have some shelving units put here on this side, which I've got. I'm thinking a TV here, plugged into there. So if I'm ever like working on, I don't know, art canvases or doing work to Sergey the bike to make him go from 100 miles an hour to 200 miles an hour, I can have a TV on watching YouTube tutorials or put on the music channel or doing something. So I've got sound in here and something to, to, to put on. And I feel like in this weather, just putting on that 24 hour loop of a, a burning log fire will just make me feel warmer whilst doing whatever I'm gonna do in this, in this space. I also found these, which if you remember, I did a collaboration with this, this beer brand and I made my own beer, which I haven't got here. I have got a few left over, but I found all these, which I had no idea that I still had these. And there's quite a lot of beers, but the only thing is they're all like a year out of date or six, to, six months to a year out of date. I've Googled it and apparently it just means the flavor might be a slightly different, but it shouldn't be dangerous to drink. I'm gonna ask you guys, is that the case? Have you ever drank a beer that's a year old? And is it like wine where the longer you leave it, actually sometimes the nicer it tastes? 
let me know in the comments because I don't want to poison myself, which is ironic because alcohol is technically poisoning your body. But other than that, this is full of camping stuff, sleeping bag for camping. We've got a uh, stand-up paddleboard that I got for my birthday. We've got up here, the chippy uh, plate that I got given when I got my camper van back, which unfortunately won't fit in this garage. A load of you said, Joe, just let the air out the tires and you should be able to fit it in if you take the roof rack off as well. But I thought, the thing is, it'd be such a pain in the ass if every time I wanted to drive the camper van, I have to drive it out on flat tires, inflate the tires to then go anywhere and put the roof rack back on. So, um, He's happy and being run every week as well, which means that at any point, as soon as weather starts getting better, me and Diane are definitely planning a trip in Chippy this year. 100%, it has to happen. Come rain or shine, maybe not rain because rain is not good for a 1966 Volkswagen split screen camper van, but uh, we will go on a camping trip in that van. So I've had it now for five, four years and I've still not camped in it overnight, which is a travesty. But hopefully after like, this is all cleared out and shifted and moved and organized, there is gonna be space in this garage for something very, very special. Also, this is a separate bench that I built yesterday, a plastic one, very cheap, very shoddy, but weirdly does the job a lot better than this thing. This actually does the job. I've got my paints underneath there, got uh some various tools got my gardening stuff here i got me uh <laughs> my house and games toolbox which still actually doesn't have anything inside this bit of carpentry that actually my granddad made um because on the back it says rgc chippenham december 2000 i should probably move this to a safer place but um also got some spray paints because also at some point this year somebody has left a chewing gum in my plant pot i can only imagine that being one person and one person only Diane Buswell. But as I was saying before that, at some point this year, I am very keen and more determined than ever to do more art, to do more artwork. After doing that last piece of artwork that I put upstairs, the um, sort of really bright, colourful sort of covid -y one, a lot of you said in the comments on these vlogs that you enjoyed watching me do this kind of stuff and the, the, the process of doing that. So it could become a bit more of a segment in the vlogs of doing something, who knows, maybe even getting the Joe Sug art shop back up and running again, if that's something you've been interested in. Right, house is looking tidy, clean, ready to go. We are not gonna need that many placemats, that's for sure, there's only three of us. Also found Uno. I don't know where that's come from, but it can stay. Hey! There he is. <laughs> They're showing the old episode of The Chase. Bear in mind, I just want to point out, I bought back, I think, 200... I bought back 200 grand. Really? Yeah. It was one of the highest anyone's ever brought back. Also, my guests have arrived. If you couldn't tell from their voice, it is Evie. And Ollie! I've got a question right. Spice bombs and flavours by what fashion house? Correct. Complete the fragrance. See, I know my... I'm, spice bombs are fragrance from which, um, uh, like, designer? You know this. I used to wear it when we went to LA. Victor and Rolf. Bloody no idea. Victor, Victor and Rolf. Rolf. Remember I used to wear it in LA? It was a spray. Yeah, it was called Spice Bomb. Do you remember? No. You don't remember this? No. I don't okay. remember what Do you know what? Wait there. I'm gonna get, uh, wait there. I'm going to get the fragrance and I'm going to spray it on myself and you'll go, oh my God, that reminds me of LA. There we go. It's a bit dusty, but Spice Bomb. Victor and Rolf. Hold your wrist out. Jesus. Right, now rub that in, smell that. Ooh, oh my god. Does that remind you of me in Los Angeles? It's weird how, how you can smell something. <laughs> Does it invoke that memory? <laughs> Ollie's got a slight headache, so I'm giving him a, a bit of medicine. It's a fireball. <laughs> fireball. I'm not gonna lie, used, I, I had a couple of drinks. You used to down fireballs night. like it was nothing back in the day. I know, but I had a couple of drinks last night and I feel a bit I feel a bit tender. Yeah, today. but this is gonna sort you out. It's your last year of being in your twenties. He's potted the white. He's potted the white. Ollie White has potted the white. It's always a close one. issue where I want to like get a really satisfying, like great pot of the ball and I end up always overhitting it. Yeah. The thing is, you forget how strong you are, Ollie. You are, you're King Vlad. You're a strong boy, whereas you hit it way too hard, but I have got two shots. It's two shots. And I'm going to win. Ollie, Ollie almost had this game. I managed to pop two in one shot. And now it's right back into it. What can he do? Oh! That's what he's gonna do! 
No! The thing is though, you've now got to, you've now got to pot this black. Where's it going? Which pocket do you want, buddy? You got you got to nominate a pocket. That one. The white can't follow it in mind. Oh, he's gonna get this in a. Oh, he missed! He's missed! This one? You sure? Ha ha ha! He's missed! He's missed! Oh, this could be it. This could be it. No, oh, he's putting mine. Oh! Will he win? Oh, he's missed it! No, he's missed it! Oh, I left an easy one, man! Oh, no, man! No! Yes! Winner! Oh, God damn it. Yeah, buddy. Oh, oh my up, God. Kids. Right, Ollie's won. He's going to show us exactly what he just did. I jumped over one ball and got it in. A so womble? A womble. So you jumped over a womble? That's how you do it. Ready? Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. No. There goes right, my hero. Watch him as he goes. There are literally... Shards of ice. There's shards of ice. Yes, it's an ice bath. Slow and controlled. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't want to do it. No, you I can. don't like it though. Come on, you've got this. You like the cold. You prefer the cold to the hot. Come on. Good boy. There we go. You've got it. You've got it. You're a Viking. You're a Viking. That's it. Shout look at her. Look at her. <laughs> that's it. That's it. And from a cold plunge to the next morning where it looks like Ollie got in some trouble last night. <laughs> Did you get kicked out of the room? I wasn't allowed to do sleep last night. <laughs> You're, oh, you're too cold. Actually, you had to warm up on the sofa. You know, we, had such a, we had such a nice sleep. Honestly, yeah? It's just, yeah, it was that, I mean, that bed. That Airbnb bed rating. Nice. How, how can Josh say he doesn't like that bed? Josh and Casper hate that bed, but I think it's because they sleep in it together and they're both over six foot. Yeah, but Josh also, he sleeps like this. Yeah, he does. He like he's dead. Move. Yeah. So, yeah. He sleep in a coffin. I don't think it's him. He's just weird. So your Airbnb rating, what are you giving me? Not for night's sleep. I mean, the fact that you 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 you, were, you you noticed I woke up, you came down here, you're doing me a coffee. It's it's getting to a nine. Oh it's bloody it's hell! A high rating. <laughs> it's not a ten because of the ice plunge. Yeah, yeah, the ice plunge <laughs> points because yeah, of that. Right, one coffee coming up. Right, Ollie's got his coffee, but what he hasn't got yet is his breakfast. But don't worry, I've got you sorted. Bon appetit. Oh, thank you very much. Sir. Have it. Enjoy your breakfast. Well, I've always wanted There's one for you and one for Evie. <laughs> oh, I think it was a bit last night. I think it made me feel a bit sick. Smells a bit worse. Are you, are, you, uh, are you mocking my cuisine? My breakfast no, cuisine? No, just, I've never had someone cook them, put them in a bag and then give them to me in the morning. Really? Yeah. This is... This has taken you a while. It's almost like I'm not trying to get a 10 out of 10... Um, Airbnb yeah. rating. Eight. It's almost like I fell at the final hurdle. Eight, I'll take you back to the kitchen. Uh, chef, the uh, the customer has refused breakfast. Breakfast is served. We've got a little toast sta oh. sta station here with some cut up avocado. We've also got a selection of spreads, sir, I've including got some tiger bread. including um, some chili <laughs> chili it's marmite dynamite. And if you're if you're Australian, there's also the Vegemite, which you nobody Vegemite. likes. Yeah. Ooh. That is a Sunday special right there. Ollie. Now that breakfast is done, we're gonna go for a nice little countryside walk, get some fresh air. Before we do that, this guy has got to earn his keep and help right, me lift, help me lift some heavy things. Oh no. Are you feeling strong? Uh, I'm feeling a little bit tender. <laughs> Where are my shoes? We need to move this yeah. inside the house. Yeah. And we need to move this oh, I remember these. through the house. Remember these? Yeah, Lovely. do you want some? Do you want them? They get you absolutely blasted. Probably more so now because they're slightly out of yeah. date. Oh, God. But you're welcome that's to take. Sweet. You're welcome to take them if you want. That is a pump off. Yeah, that's the blowing off. That's the pump master five thousand dolly. What are you blowing off? It's it? to make my um, thing bigger. This thing. What's it called? A um, stand up paddleboard. A raft. You dirty minded boy. Are those badminton rackets? They are very very old badminton or squash rackets. We don't know yet. We're not, I'm not too sure. Do you want them? No. <laughs> Damn it. I'm just trying to get rid of no, stuff. Are you not getting rid of do, you want a, do you want a skateboard? No. <laughs> right, let's lift this thing. Are we ready? No. Yes. I think you might need cushions though. Well, we've got the cushions. I've taken the things off. I've got to wash all the covers. And then I need to get the rug doctor. Outside chairs. What? Are these outside chairs? That sofa? Yeah. No. Oh, it's that's, just, that's just a... How dirty are they? Yeah, it's, it's from years and years. I was all sat on there farting on it for the last seven or eight years. Where, where did it used to be? In my lounge, in my flat. In London, remember? 
This is part of, I've unscrewed off, there were some metal clips here that slotted in. So this would have been the bit where it had the chaise coming off there, and that was the outside in the London flat. The door, slide door to go outside was there. Had the chaise long bit down there, and then this was along there. Then there's a corner bit, and then another long bit on the end. Remember? This was part of the giant sofa. The giant sofa, yeah. Oh, wow. That's the last remaining part. It is quite weird, though, without an arm bit here. Yeah, I think like, the... might fall far. Well, I say, if you fall that side. Yeah, mate. You're very the... dangerous. You're on the Falcon. <laughs> yeah, it's actually quite nice. Yeah, I think you're right. I think without the arms, it does look bloody weird. It is a bit odd, but I think it's fine. It's like a little... It will do for now. Well, you know what you need There's... to do, though? A bit of dusting. Look at yeah. that. Yeah. The only thing with these chairs... Look at this. That's the thing. With these look chairs... Look Joe is not... I don't need it. These chairs are great for your posture and your back and everything, but not great for dust. These things collect dust like there's no tomorrow. Always coming out your ass as well. It's like, like, it's like ass dust. <laughs> oh my God. This is a lot harder than the sofa. And we might have to lift it above this island. No. Ollie and Joe removals. <laughs> we'll move your furniture and you won't break anything. <laughs> you don't say a lot, but it's very strong. <laughs> oh oh God. God. Ollie, do not scratch that on the wall. Well, I think I've lost a nipple. I've got one ball sack. Can I hold your arm also? Like, pull. Yeah, one. See, this is why I said, Evie, yeah. you've got to get the welly boots. Oh. Ollie's got his hiking boots on. Damn it. I'm prepared. Cure. Found a tennis ball, and we're like, are we going to kick it the entire way on this walk? <laughs> this dog's seen it. The dog's like, hmm, I'll have this. <laughs> oh, go on. Why did that work? Oh, you're in the bunker. <laughs> Ollie, you got to the next shot. Out of the bunker. Chip it onto the green. Go on. <laughs> I mean, it's out the bunker. Yeah. Go, go, roll, roll, roll. Oh, we're in the sand. We're in the sand. Can he chip it out of here onto the green? The wind's going that way. Wind's on my side. Dink. It's out. Just the right of the green. He set Ollie up for the putt. Ollie, you've got to put it into the hole. I'll show you where the hole oh, the, the, the hole's here, look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is quite clearly the hole. Oh, he dinked. He dinked it. It's short. It's short. Evie, this is your chance to win. Okay. You've got to put it into this hole. hole. You can't miss. Will Evie win? Oh, oh she's put it wide. Oh, it goes down to Joseph. If I miss this, then I think I need to go home and have a good long chat with myself. Yay. It's in! Right, we did it. Winner of Countryside Golf is me. God, it's quite hot, isn't Joseph. it? Here's the local water slide, Ollie. You getting in? In the summer, we're coming back here and we're lazy rivering it all the way down here yeah. and going down there. Right, we are back from our walk. And I'm telling you now, I could eat my own arm. I'm so hungry. And we're thinking, like, what should we do for lunch? What should we do for lunch? And then it dawned on me. We have got so much leftover Chinese from yesterday. That's not even all of it. We've got so much left over that this reheated is going to be the nicest thing I've eaten all week. It's making me feel emotional. <laughs> so good. Second day's worth of Chinese. I had to Google. As a kid, I used to eat Chinese the next day all the time. Mm. And then as I got older, I started to worry more about rice. And we were having a discussion earlier. Mm. We were talking earlier about, do is it safe to reheat rice? I had to quickly Google it. And the general consensus is, depends where you look on the internet. So I feel like in the comments below, there's gonna be a lot of people going, no, what are you doing? But I used to always do it as a kid and I was fine. Yeah. I, turned out, I turned out all right. I feel fine. Yeah. Oh no. You know, it's a bad day when you're in your favorite socks has got a hole in it. Now actually a lot later on in the evening and we are going, I'm going with Ollie and Evie to London because I'm going to go and surprise my girlfriend. But trying to pack is difficult because tomorrow I'm doing a day in the office anyway at Final Straw. So I'm trying to pack clothes for tomorrow and then possibly clothes for another day as well because I might stay two nights, um, which may be a pain. So. I'm thinking, do, have I got enough to fit in there for one day? I don't know. It might be better just to wear all the clothes I'm gonna wear now, so I don't have to put it in my bag so it's not too full up. 
Right, I think my bag is packed. It's definitely full because it's weighing me, quite literally pulling me down to the floor, it's weighing that much. It feels really weird leaving to go on a Sunday because normally my Sundays, I love nothing more than a Sunday at home, just like relaxing at home, have a nice bath, a Sunday bath, like all my like Sunday rituals before a busy Monday. I'm gonna miss it, I'm gonna miss this house already. Boy. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was the sun in my eye for a second. Let's <laughs> say, what is an Ollie Comes oh. to Stay vlog without Ollie falling asleep on a sofa? Oh, mate. To the sound of the Terminator just absolutely yeah. shooting everything up. <laughs> Funny thing about light switches on the outside means you can do this. <laughs> we are now on the road. Road trip. <laughs> a little late night road trip. We say late night. It's like 5 p.m. Half past five. <laughs> it's pitch black. Did you have a coffee, by the way? I didn't. I might flag. My one thing that I had to do before leaving was to get Ollie a coffee, and I've not done it. Now I see why you want to sit in the back, Evie. Because <laughs> now it's been my job to try and keep Ollie White awake on this journey back. Oh, Ollie. You made it. Oh god. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like I've just woken up again. Honestly, that, honestly. It's like that meme where it's like the the when you put the Christmas lights up and the birds and the trees are like that. <laughs> We're about to go past my old flat. I've not seen in probably years. But this whole area is so different. When I moved, there was not any of these massive buildings popping up. There's always like a circus here though. There is, isn't there? A paddle yard! A paddle yard? Why is it? Where's this come Play from? Paddle. Aim for paddle. paddle. Like honestly, all these buildings here weren't here. We didn't have a backyard cinema. Oh my god. That would have been so much fun. All these buildings here in front, these weren't there when I left. All that one, all that one. This looks completely different. Yeah, these are all brand new. This is nuts. Where's the gym? There used to be a Virgin Active like somewhere around here. And that was used to be like a, a home base or a B&Q. Oh my God. That's where me and Byron used to go and get um, food late at night. More so this place here, this was the McDonald's to go to, wasn't it? And there in the distance is that big advertising board sign, which I had to painstakingly blur out of every shot in vlogs. Clive! That's where Clive got his first apple pie. That shopping trolley was left there about seven years ago. It's still there. It was up here, yeah. Up the top. Oh, uh, there it is. Oh, the lights are all off. Funny story, so this travel lodge coming up now, this travel lodge, which I'm going to be honest, doesn't look like the nicest travel lodge of all the travel lodges that I've seen, right? But, fun fact, earlier on in the year, that in 2018, so this is before I met Diane, Diane was on tour for a dance show, this is before Strictly, and she stayed in that hotel, and she said that she was walking through like the development where I lived, and I would have been living there at the time, because she went to go into like a little Tesco that was there to get some food and she was walking through there with her friend Robbie and she was saying, oh, do you know what? One day I'd love to like live somewhere like this. And then later that year, we met and then she ended up living there with me. So it's like, it's weird <laughs> how she saw, dream, she yeah. manifested it and it happened, but it was um, weird. And we, we were saying like, she went to that Tesco. What we didn't realize is I could have actually been in that Tesco at that point. Probably were. There, there's a good chance that even me or Byron we were in that Tesco when she was in there and we crossed paths without even realising it. So we could have met each other previously before having even actually met each other. Does that make sense? That does make I sense. Right, I've said my goodbyes to Ollie and Evie. Now I'm walking through trying to find the nearest tube station. They give me directions, but I'm, I can't remember how to do London anymore. <laughs> So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I think I'm lost already. Well, I think I made it. Getting warmer, getting warmer. Very warm, getting warmer. The guy just said to me, have a nice day. And I said, you too. Oh my God. As far as hotel room views go, I think this could be an absolute winner. Oh my God. Look at this. Oh my word, this doesn't look real. And it's giving me slight like vertigo just to go anywhere near the edge. First of all, in the lift, the guy at the bottom reception said, enjoy your stay. And then I said, you too. And the next stupid thing that I've done in the space of five minutes is looking out across this view. The first thing I thought to look out for is the shard. I'm in the shard. 
Oh, and then it continues. I think this could be the best bit of the whole thing. Is, I mean, first of all, this. I love myself a good old, like, Japanese toilet. Come on, lift up. Damn it. It's not one that automatically lifts up, but I'm heating that bad boy right away. Can't wait to poo on you later. And then we've got the bath with bath with a view although i'm trying to use my torch because i can't find the light switch that's do not disturb where's the light hello no iron and board normally the light switch is here but it's not that's the air con where's like how do i get these lights on no <laughs> how do i where's the light switch ah maybe i've just got to put this in no The hell? These are lights, aren't they? Oh, that's not, but that's a light. Where's the... It'll be next to the bed. I mean, also, can we just look at that for a turn down service? Got my duvet looking like a paper airplane. I love it. And we've got a little note on the pillow. Welcome windows at the Shard. There'll be a routine cleaning of the exterior windows of the building between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. So you might get window cleaners outside. Actually, how do they even clean these windows? from the outside, whoever's job that is, I salute you because that would make my ball sack shrivel up inside my body doing that. Right, anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Lights, lights, lights. Master. No, that's made it even darker. Master. Yes, there we go. Okay, better. Right, but, oh, now it's darker in here. What? I don't get this. Why can't we just have all the lights on? <sighs> Don't mind me, just sat at my office with this view. Uh, I see why they have the lights turned off so you can actually enjoy the view without seeing your own face in the window. But at my desk today, we do have some little goodies. We have a very, very good looking fruit bowl that weighs an absolute ton. We've got some knives and little things. Is there gonna be a cake? I think there could be a cake, you know. What have we got in here? We've got, oh my God, we've got a bottle of Veuve Clicquot, ooh. Da, 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 da. Oh my god! <laughs> that, I mean, that's it's 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 cool. It smells though so good, and I really want to eat one now. But I feel like I should wait until Diane gets back. Oh, hurry up, Diane! Dear Miss Buswell and Mr. Sug, welcome to the clouds. I hope you have a wonderful time in the clouds. Should you need any assistance, please not hesitate to contact me, Kurt. Thank you, Kurt. Oh, it's another one from Kurt. Dear Diane and Joe, welcome back to the hotel in the clouds. Should you need any assistance, please contact me or the uh, or my lovely team. Enjoy your stay. What's in here? Binoculars! That's a very nice touch. So we can have a little look out and see the guy clean the windows first thing in the morning. <laughs> Just seeing the whites of his eyes as he's cleaning, maintaining eye contact with us whilst we're sleeping in bed the entire time, squeegeeing the window. <laughs> now, does this hotel pass the ultimate hotel test? It could have the most amazing views, it could have the fruit bowl, it could have the lovely letters from Kurt, the general manager, but has it got the plug socket next to the bed? You will be so surprised at how many like very nice hotels we we get to stay in sometimes but they don't have a plug socket near the bed like i'm talking like not even like anywhere like near it. i know it's not good to charge your phone right next to your head and things like that but it's so important i think it's every hotel needs to have a plug socket next to the bed it just makes sense big up the moon over there just hiding behind the clouds at least i hope it's the moon if not they're finally landing i haven't found the switch for this one though unless it's somewhere. Sorry for taking you around here in the dark, but I'm excited. Yes. Oh, oh, there's a message on the. Oh, I didn't see that. There we go. Welcome back to the clouds, Diane and and Joe. <laughs> and me too. Don't, don't forget little old me. Must have run out of ink or something. I've ordered a club sandwich, turned on the TV, I know I shouldn't have the TV on because there's this, this beautiful view to look at, but I turned the TV on and it's Lord of the Rings. Not just Lord of the Rings, but the Two Towers, which arguably 
is the best, I think, out of the three movies. Top it all off, Diane said that I can run a bath because she's not going to get into 11 p.m. tonight. She's coming back from, she's, as I mentioned, she's coming back down from Glasgow. So it's going to be a late one for her. So I will probably asleep when she gets back, but I'm going to feed myself, bathe myself, relax, put my feet up. Also forgot to mention, when I was getting the tube from Ollie and Evie's to get to here, I bumped into a lad called Jack. I think he's in his early 20s, but um, he's on the tube. And as I got off the tube, um, he said, hello. He said, um, Joe, right? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, uh, just want to say thanks for the videos. You got me through a hard time in my life. So thanks for, for making the videos. And it made me smile the whole way up. You wouldn't have seen this, Jack. Smile on the escalator the whole way up out of the tube. Because even now, I struggle to believe that the videos that we made all those years ago and for how long we've made videos for had an impact on people's lives to have people still give me comments like that about the videos being like it was such a big part of their lives growing up and which which means an awful lot and it makes me realize as well even the vlogs that i'm making now it goes back to what i mentioned at the start of the vlog where i, just, I was saying that i just want to i do want to be making more vlogs and making more content especially sometimes i feel like my vlogs are boring i don't ever want them to be but i always worry in the back of my head that i'm like is this entertaining i don't know it does mean a lot it means an awful lot to me and i'm i'm so glad and i always will be i think of anything that i've ever achieved doing youtube to be able to have had that impact still blows my mind and i don't quite get it but to have had an impact on people um will i think will always be my biggest achievement no matter what i go on to do no matter what i have done in the past when people say like what is your biggest achievement i do think the fact that i say we because of me and the group of that sort of time to have a, like a, a sort of a, a lasting effect like that on on people that, that watch the videos and to be a part of their childhood is something that will always be my biggest achievement and just will so anyway nice to meet you jack uh thanks for making my day and just like that, my tablet's gone off to say that my order is in and it'll be with me in 30 minutes. Oh, right in time for the Battle of Helm's Deep. <laughs> Honestly, I could watch Lord of the Rings over and over again. I could have it on the background, just always on in the background. I always wanted to when I was younger. I said, look, when the final film comes out, I'm going to do like a movie marathon and watch all of them one after the other. Um, still not going to doing that, but I would 100% do that. That's not an orc horn. I think the elves have arrived. The elves have arrived before my club sandwich. What are the chances of that? In the cinema, watching this, as like a 11 year old, 12 year old, this battle, out of all the battles in Lord of the Rings, the Battle of Helm's Deep, I think is, is the best one. And also I was that kid that was so obsessed with Lord of the Rings that I used to play it with sticks in the garden as an 11 year old. So we're talking like year seven. Um, and also I collected Lord of the Rings Warhammer with my friend Lewis in uh, in year seven. Not Lewis that you know from the vlogs, a different Lewis. And we used to like trade them and paint them together and things like that. I was a massive Lord of the Rings nerd and still am. And I'm very proud of it. So shut up. Here we have said club sandwich. Let's have a look. It does look lovely. It's very clubby and very sandwichy. It's now the next day, and I completely forgot to vlog <laughs> when you got back because you fell asleep. I was in a deep sleep. I had my bath. I was watching a SpongeBob movie in bed. <laughs> fell, just fell Is into. Is that like, what your st story was saying? Yeah, I was looking oh, at I my. Know. I've never seen it. This morning, I was looking at my sleep stats, and I went from like a deep, like deep sleep. It's very often I'm quite a light sleep. I'm actually quite a light sleeper, but I got woken up from a deep sleep by this one. Like leaning over top of me, just waking me up. And I, I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. I was so scared. I don't know why. I knew it was you, but something about it just, just freaked me out. But Dan's here. It's short but sweet. Also, have you seen that? Oh yeah, that's cool. Do you reckon this? Yeah, oh yeah, I did show him that, yeah. I, do you know what? Look, I ate, because I know you didn't like milk chocolate. It's a little touch, so I ate the it? two milk chocolate ones and left you the dark chocolate and the white chocolate and whatever that is. And in the end, I didn't even open the champagne. I left it, I fell asleep, didn't even, but probably for a good reason. Breakfast with a view. 
And you mean me, don't you? Oh uh, yeah, you. <laughs> Forget this. And anyway, with that, the weekend is over. It is Monday and I'm starting my day, but saying goodbye to this day. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> you just imagine like, hold your fingers, that look, hide your fingers, because that then looks like you've lifted your leg up and you're just getting your big toe out. <laughs> um, but thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and all that kind of stuff. And I will see you again very soon with another vlog. But until then, bye. Goodbye. Bye.